SharePoint 2013 how to create a promoted links list app part 3 here we go part 3 thanks for coming back if you haven't watched parts 1 or 2 you may want to do so now links to these videos can be found in the description I hope this hasn't been a complete waste of your time who are we kidding the more you know about SharePoint the better we've already added one link to our promoted icons list but let's add one more so you get the hang of it might be trickier than you think navigate to your promoted links list in this example that is my promoted icons list at the top of the page click items to expand the ribbon in the new section click new item for this example I will enter the following information title SharePoint 2013 tutorials background image location I will select an image I have stored in my SharePoint library It's the Rackspace icon I will click on it click on it again I'll copy the link paste it there we go description link to Rackspace SharePoint tutorials link location I will go to the website where I would like to link this and it is the SharePoint 2013 tutorials page I'll grab that link paste it here launch behavior in page navigation order Two. I will review my settings title background image location link location launch behavior and order click Save you will see your new SharePoint 2013 tutorials link in the promoted icons list that's not all though if you navigate back to your SharePoint page where you add the promoted icons web part in part 2 you will see the new icon so let's go back there and check it out and there's the new icon. Go back into your promoted icons list and try to edit one of your links. So I'm going to go into the link. So I will give you some time to try to edit these. Give you a few seconds to try to figure it out. Editing the links are not as easy as you think. If you click on one of the links, so let's click on company task to try to edit it. Oops, it takes us into the team task list. That's not what I wanted. Or in a normal SharePoint 2013 list, it would display the item's properties. The best way to edit your links I have come up with is to switch the default views from tiles to all promoted links. So let's do that now. At the top of the page, click list to expand the ribbon. In the settings section, click list settings. On the settings page, scroll to the view section and click all promoted links. In the name section, check the box next to make this the default view. Applies to public views only. Click OK. There you go. Your items will now be displayed similar to other SharePoint 2013 lists, which will make it easier to edit. Also, since we set this as the default view, even if you navigate away from the page and come back, this will remain. Let's check that out. So if I go to my home page and I look at my promoted icons, there they are. If I go back into my promoted icons list, they still look like a normal SharePoint 2013 list. Now it's time to impress your coworkers and show them what you've learned. This has been a presentation by Jeff Taylor with the SharePoint at Rackspace team, and thank you for watching.